Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain, she sighed. I knew, I knew, I knew. I love you, Finn. I still love you. I winced. I knew. I gloved. Freaking damn it, I knew. But it still got me. Off. I ran my hand through my hair. Of course you do. But Monica, I, I love. I know you do, and I'm okay with that. But I, I need closure. You fake being in love with someone else. I need to make sure you're not doing it again. Uh, aw, please don't give me that face, Monica. How could I be so, how could I be so stupid? How could I be such an idiot? Of course she hadn't moved on. Of course she needed closure. She's not like me. She loved me for, what, an entire year? Right? And here I am. I get with her because I'm lonely. I date her for three weeks and show her no love. And then I break up with her. Only to get with another girl within three fucking days. How, how the heck did I expect her to feel? Fine? Did I expect her to just be fine? She felt like shit for weeks. Months, most likely. Probably inconsolably shitty. It's all my fault. Mine. Goes to show how little I really cared. How little I cared about anyone about but myself. Selfish Finn. What else is new? I chuckled darkly. Finn. The guy that joins a lurch club because the girls are cute? How could he ever be selfish? He sounds like a real A-class citizen. Ugh. Clenched my fists. Stupid, stupid. Stupid. Fucking. Loser! A loser that only cares about himself. Probably doesn't even care about his current girlfriend either. I wonder what I've been ignoring about Yuri. Maybe. Maybe. Surely I... Her stomach issue. Hmm. <laughs>
I muttered and roughed up my hair. I need something to mess up and didn't want to do it to Yuri's hair. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to talk about it? Sure. It started when... I trailed off as Yuri began to fix my hair. She had licked her hand and was running it through my bangs. Though she, it seems she quickly realized what had, what she had been doing. I just wanted to fix your. Uh oh, I'm sorry. That was weird. No, 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 Yuri. It's it's okay. It's normal. Just just continue. Going off of practically muscle memory at this point, I put a hand up. Yuri, Yuri. It's okay. Just caught me off guard. Uh oh. I really need to stop doing that. I chuckled. Don't worry about it. It's not like you licked the blood of licked the blood from my finger or anything. She quickly got flustered and put her head down from on her desk. Oh, memories from the um from the base game. Why remind me? <laughs> I she took a deep breath and sat back up. Anyway, continue with your day. Ah, right. Well, it just I kind of had a pretty big conversation. I froze. I shouldn't tell her about Monica. That conversation was... Well, that's better left private. I... I had a pretty big conversation with my math teacher. And he just kind of talked my ear off. And then I had a quiz in English and Japanese and biology. Today was just exhausting. I get that. She ran another hand through my hair. I could have helped you study for those tests, though. It's not that I failed, it's just that they're, well, really boring. Uh, I didn't mean to imply. Yuri. It's cool. Right. Uh, well, read anything good recently? I'll tell you about every book I read. It's nothing you haven't already heard. Right. Uh, I drummed my fingers on the desk. Well, this feels almost pointless. Bored. Something slammed onto a desk. Presumably, it was Natsuki's head. This sucks. I agree. Usually, Monica is around and has some kind of plan. Whether it would be silent reading time or sharing something we wrote or what have you. But now it's just quiet. Eerily so. You guys just... My head snapped in, snapped to attention. Sayori. yo. Does everyone just want to go home? Frankly, I'm a little lost without Monica. Aww. Even though you are the vice president of the club, surely you have something, don't you? Aren't you the vice president? <laughs> that's what I... That's exactly what I said. And yes, I know I'm the vice president, but I'm not exactly a natural born leader. So just, if you want to, feel free to go home. Sayori sat down in the teacher's desk and took that as an excuse to grab my things. I didn't care about much else. I just want, I just wanted to, I just wanted out of that stuffy classroom. I turned to Yuri. You can come over to my place later, preferably around dinner time. I whispered. Any particular reason why? I just... I trailed off. Just need someone to be with, okay? I sounded desperate. And really, I was. Oh, okay. She grabbed my hand and squeezed. I'll be over at 7 o'clock, 17 o'clock. I would have come sooner, but I do have my own agenda. But I'll promise I'll be there as quickly as I can. She kissed me on the cheek and squeezed my hand again. Thanks, babe. I sighed, ruffled my hair, and slung my bag over my shoulder. I left the classroom shortly after. I, ex I inhaled deeply as I threw my do front door open. I'm glad to be home. I tossed my bag to the floor and flopped on my couch. Ugh, I could really use a nap. My head is pounding. I could feel myself dozing off until I heard an alarm go off on my phone. Alright, 
I got up off the couch, walked off the, uh, turned off the alarm, and walked to the stairs. I plugged in my phone and set it on my nightstand. I had started a new routine. I needed to plug in my phone when I got home from school in case I needed it later on. Of course, it's important to charge your phone as soon as you get back home because of heavy usage um, turns into low battery, and that would suck. The battery was just getting worse, so this was my countermeasure. And that had been working pretty well. I walked out of my room and back down into the living room, where I promptly fall onto the couch and subsequently into dreamland. Hmm. I'm going on a road trip. The dreamland. Okay, I'm not gonna sing because DMCA. <laughs> I woke up to a knock on my door. Ugh. I wiped my eyes and stood up. My mouth was dry and had a metallic taste, along with my head slightly hurting. This is why I don't do naps. I pulled open the door and saw just the right person. The purple goddess herself. Of course, and it's Yuri. For you Yuri lovers out there. Hey, Yuri. Hello, Finn. She walked inside and I shut the door behind her. How are you? Doing fine. Tired, I guess. She nodded. I can understand that. There's an awkward gap in the conversation. So, why are you still in your uniform? Oh, well... I rushed over here as quickly as I could after I finished my homework. I didn't have time to change. You said you wanted me here, so I didn't want to make you wait too long. But I did have a lot of homework. So I'm thankful you <laughs> wanted me over at dinner time. Oh, well, that makes sense. Thank you for rushing over, but I rubbed my neck. I would have been patient. I don't want you to be stressed or anything. You don't have to worry about my stress. I'm happy to come over. I smiled. I'm glad. Anyway, we're nearing dinner, so do you want me to make something? Only if you want to. We can order out if not. Nah, I want to. Even I even went to the store recently and got some ingredients. I open up the pantry. How does soba noodles and teriyaki beef sound? Ooh, I love soba. I wasn't looking at her, but I knew her eyes lit up. They always do. Good. I'll get started on that here in a minute then. Make yourself at home. Will do. I heard her walk off and presumably into the living room. Most likely to read or to knit. Those are usually her hobbies of choice. I pulled out the raw meat from the fridge and closed up with my backside. Perfecto. I gotta say, um, I did try teriyaki beef before in, well, during my travels while I was away, in, in case if you guys didn't know. It was really, really good, and even though it's not authentic Japanese, but it is Japanese food nonetheless, I really like it. It's really, really tasty. With the noodles soft and the meat fully cooked, I turned off the stove. I poured the noodles onto a strainer, put them all into a big Tupperware container, and added the beef into it. I added some extra sauce and used tongs to just get the flavor all even distributed. When it all looked good, I wiped my forehead. Lovely. Yuri, dinner. Okay. I set the Tupperware container on the table and grabbed some bowls along with, well, silverware. Yuri sat down at the table and I sat down across from her. She inhaled and then smiled. Hmm. Now it's good. Glad you think so. I grabbed myself a portion and she grabbed her own. Uh, uh, hmm. I, after I had finished eating, Yuri, as usual, didn't. She had grabbed an extra portion. Uh, I needed to bring it up. I needed to talk about it with her. It'll make me feel better. To know. To know that I haven't been ignoring something too serious. But it just... It all felt wrong. Like, I was ignoring something serious. Well, at some point, like I said, maybe warm down for a little bit and then when the time comes, we can talk about it. Though, I won't know until I ask. So I have to. I have to man up here. 
This is this is something that potentially be life threatening. It's not me being serious about telling her my feelings or whatever. This is her life, her safety. If I want to be a good boyfriend, this is something I need to do. No, no. If I want to be a good person, this is what I need to do. Uh, one, two, three. Yuri. He holds up a finger, chews, and then swallows. Yes, what do you need? I just need to talk about something with you. Something important. She faltered. Uh, oh, uh, sure. Go ahead. Hey, hey. I grabbed her hand. Relax. This is just me worrying about something, okay? I squeezed. I may be, I, I may just be completely overreacting, but I won't know unless I ask. I grabbed the other hand. So please, just bear with me here. I, I all right. Just tell me what's troubling you. It's about your... I try to formulate my words. It's about your eating habits. My eating habits? What's wrong with... Yuri, you always eat way more than I do. And then you excuse yourself to the bathroom right after. I'm sorry to be blunt, but are you... Are you okay? That's concerningly fast bowel speed if that's what the problem is. But I worry it could be something as bad as an eating disorder. So, please, please, well my worries here. I... She rubbed her thumbs along the back of my hands. It's... She sighed. I happen to suffer from IBS. Oh, IBS. I may have to look that up after this one. Uh, IBS? What the heck is that? She became flustered. You're really gonna make me explain it, huh? She took her hand out of mine and rubbed her neck. Irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, irritable bowel syndrome. Again, still need to look that up myself to see what the uh, what the symptoms are. I may not be a doctor, but I'm really interested interested to read every um every syndrome or ailments and conditions and all that. It means that certain foods upset my stomach in certain ways. Unfortunately, those certain foods happen to be most foods. I take pills for it, and those make my stomach move faster. Which is why, after I eat, I use the restroom. But my stomach isn't upset, so it's a double-edged sword. Hmm. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. It was all bullshit. I coughed. <clears throat> uh, well, that's, uh, uh... Thanks for telling me, Yuri. I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to share that with me. Uh, of course. It was a little embarrassing, but I felt you should know. She was lying. Well, all I can say is, I'm happy to know I wasn't overlooking something terrible. Mm hmm. There's nothing you need to be worrying about. I chuckled. Okay. I trust you. I'm glad you do. There was. Ugh. Anyway, are you done with dinner? She nodded. Yes, sir. Did you like it? It was great. Great. I'll keep it in mind for use, future usage. Perfect. Yuri stood up, gave me a kiss on the cheek, then walked off to the living room. What a tease. I put my dish in the sink and followed her into the living room. I crashed on the couch and flipped through the channels. I settled on what looked to be a romantic movie. Love Actually, it was called. Seemed to be an American romance movie. Seemed fitting for the evening. I was originally content with just relaxing and watching the movie, but I quickly remembered why I had invited Yuri over in the first place. Uh, I was exhausted. Soon I find myself wrapped in Yuri's embrace. Her warmth feeling like a heater on a cold winter day. Even if she was still in her, still in that damn dang uniform. I wish she was wearing her sweater. <laughs> of course, because it's a lot more comfier, isn't it? It was so... Convertible. Hey, 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 I knew it. 
so perfectly fitting for the pure purple beauty. I sigh, burying my face onto the nuke of her. Okay, I could feel her blush at the act, but that only made me want to do it more. It was just so comfy. I, very, I felt myself fading away until I snapped my eyes open. No, no, no. You don't want to miss out on this one, man. Sleep is for the weak. Hugging your girlfriend is for the manliest. Uh, I held her tighter. Just relax. It was a few hours later. The movie was long over and Yuri had asked me if she could spend the night. And she said she had some spare clothes that she brought over, but had forgotten to ask if she could stay for stay the night until just then. I said it was okay, though there was a problem she saw. She needed to take a shower. She s I said she didn't have to, but could just do it when she got back to her house the next day, but she said she didn't wish to. That doing so would mess with her routine. I eventually folded and let her use the sh upstairs shower. But this led me to my current predicament. My phone was upstairs, and I was really bored. Well, she was taking a while in there, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I needed to go on recon. I need to get my cellular phone. This is sounding like a bigger deal than it actually is. I sighed at my stupidity and stood off the couch. I walked towards the stairs, up them, across the hall, and into my bedroom. And there it was. I could hear the shower running in my bathroom, but I didn't pay much attention to it. As much as I thought of Yuri, showering was enticing, it was embarrassing too. So I tried to ignore it. And in ignoring it, it caused my eyes to wander. It caused them to wander over to Yuri's clothes, which were curiously sitting out of my room instead of the bathroom. Most likely, she had gotten changed out here. But that wasn't the biggest mystery to me. Something red was sticking out of her pants pockets. What? Granted, I was not one to invade her privacy. But I never seen that red thing before. Against my better judgment, I walked over and picked it up. It was a handkerchief. As I was examining it, something slipped out. I nearly didn't notice, but a silver coloring caught my eye. I bent down to pick it up. It was a razor blade. Uh oh, like the kind you would see used in the movie to make lines of coke or something. The ones that you replace in shaving razors. But this one is neither a shaving razor or a coke razor. This one was different. This one had red spots all over it. Like, like blood. I curiously sniffed the object and was hit with a wave of iron. Copper. Smell of blood. But why? Why did this razor have blood on it? And why was it in Yuri's possession? I looked back at the handkerchief. It seemed to have its own fair share of blood stains. Uh... The heck is this thing for? Uh... No. No. That's... Yuri doesn't seem like the type to. She just doesn't. I mean, Yuri lovers and fans know about it because you know Yuri is, right? Uh, I think back over our interactions. The months we've been together. The months we haven't. And one jarring detail sticks out. i never seen Yuri's arms before. My hands begin to shake and I set the razor down on my desk. I reach for her purse. Conveniently, she brought it up here with her. For a reason I didn't want to keep asking myself. But I opened the flap and dug around, praying I didn't find what it was... Didn't find what it was I was looking for. But I did. I pulled out a bottle of antiseptic and a pull of... And a roll of bandages. I set them next to the razor as my mind kept filling in blanks. Blanks I didn't want filled. I grabbed the razor again. Sharp. Of course it was. What better for? I clenched my fists. My girlfriend. 
the love of my life. She, she harmed herself with this. I dropped it again. Almost like it was radioactive. I... I felt like I was going to be sick. I was reaching for my trash can until I heard my bathroom door open. Oh, Finn, why are you... I turned to her. Yuri. Wait, were you going through my purse? Why were you... I held up the blade. And her face instantly shifted. It went from miffed to full-blown panic. What? Why do you have... Yuri, hey. I tried to walk over to her, but she took a step back. Yuri, why do you have this? That's... um... uh... Yuri. I took a step closer and she backed up again. Please, babe. Please. It, it's not anything. It's for my shaving razor. Please, just tell me the truth. If it is for your shaving razor, then why the antiseptic? Why the bandages? Sometimes I accidentally cut my legs. Uh, show me your arms. What? No. She backed up again. Yuri, please. Just show me your arms. I took one final step towards her and she looked over at the door. I instantly caught on. Wait, don't. She ran towards the bathroom, the bedroom door. I need to go. I gave chase, but she stammered the door in my face. I grunted, threw it open, and followed her out into the hall. She ran down the stairs. Yuri, wait, please, babe. She didn't stop. I took a deep breath and ran after her. As I'm running down the stairs, I trip. I slam my head onto the ground at the bottom of the stairs. But I can't stop now. Dazed and confused, I attempt to stand. But the only thing I can make out is the sound of a door slamming. Uh... She's gone. Fuck. I slam my fist into the wall. Fuck! Fuck! I fell on my ass. Dang it! No. No, no. It... Oh, Glob. I should've seen... Back when... Holmes. I quickly ran back upstairs. Throwing open to the door of my room, I walked over to my desk. I, trialed, I tried and failed to ignore the bloody razor. Instead, I, on, I focused on one thing, and one thing only. My drawer. I flung it open and looked through its contents. English homework, a Swiss army knife, antacids, antacids, an old fork, gum wrapper. Ah, here it is. Laminated and everything. I began to read it over. It cradles me in its presence. I, wi I wish I, I wish I, I wish to never leave. The void's rosy complexion. And the raccoon. I choked back with a gag. I. What is that? Three now? Three things I've turned a blind eye to. Just to keep living in my perfect wonderland. Let's go over those three things, shall we? Me and Monica's relationship. Yuri's stomach issue, which is definitely not IBS. Okay, then if that's the case, then th that would mean it's a lie. And this. I grabbed her razor and threw it at my trash can. I missed, but I didn't care. I missed this. What's probably the most ish important issue of all. What our resume, that is. Two lives you've ruined. Three aspects. Just by being yourself. Yourself. A loser. A selfish fucking loser. I run a hand through my hair. Why? Why? Why, why, why? I fell to the floor. Why do I exist? Nothing I've ever done has done anything, anyone any good. In fact, it's been quite the opposite. It's like I... It's like I exist to cause harm. And I've been, uh, and I've been doing a pretty good job, it seems. Uh, I run a hand through my hair and limply reached for what, for that Swiss army knife. It was a gift from my father. A pretty good one, even if pointless. I don't exactly need it. Well, you might need it for only self-defense and all that. So it seems we're the same in that regard. 
pointless. We exist just to exist. I flipped out the main blade. Well, there is one use to us. I looked at my wrists. We cause harm. Uh, I've always wondered why people harm themselves. And heck, I've been talking to someone that's been doing it for glob knows how long. So there must be some point to it, right? Something about it. Something that makes it appealing. So I wonder. I put it to my wrist. Where's the fun? Uh, I love you, Finn. I have for a while. I put pressure on the knife. That's just something I like to do when I order food at places. I sold my soul for a cupcake. I love you, Finn. Dummy. I have for a while. Love. Like. Dummy. L I mean, I accept your romantic confession. I dropped the knife. What? Oh my. Yuri! I was back at the park. The happy place. The place where all of my struggles felt themselves met melt away. Bunny. Considering all I can feel was my struggles beating down on my head, endlessly attacking me, along with, of course, my own psych telling me how much of a failure I was. This place, this park, where we shared our first date, where we really connected, where I made the vow. Uh, some fucking vow. Yuri! I groaned. I could feel my stamina wane. I stopped and breathed heavily. Where could she be? I can't. Wait. Her spot. Her secret breeding spot. Uh. I moved the hair out of my eyes and began to run. I stepped into a divot and nearly lost my footing. But I carried on. As soon as I hear her hear crying, I knew I had come to the right place. Now, where is... Yuri... Oh no. Oh no. I think we've done goofed. Look at her. <sighs> we definitely need a lot of explaining to do. Literally.